Fool Podcast. Welcome to the What's Up Fool Podcast, episode two of 2020. Wow. Or episode, I don't even know what episode this is. Rodrigo Torres is here. Martin Rizzo is here. Lisa is here. Yeah. Polly Shore is here. The legend, world famous. Thank you. Thank you. Polly thank Shore, you, thank man. You. Thank you. An icon, man. Thank you. Yeah. Has said with Daisy Fuentes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm sorry, man. I, let me apologize. I'm lying. <laughs> apologize. I had to make that up. <laughs> I had to just make that up for oh, it because I was, I was young right now, bro. The last two minutes, I felt re really young. Oh, you made something up. I had to make it up, bro. You made up a story just to be interested. Let's get the elephant in the room, bro. <laughs> you go, give us a Hollywood report. All right, later. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a lot of news going around with a comedian, man. A uh, little you guy. You about Brad Williams? Yeah, you hear the story that he was on uh, Doug Benson's uh, podcast with Eddie Ift, and he uh, did a, uh, a story about him uh, on the road ghost raping somebody. Or what, what's it called? When you do switch fraud by rape, or rape by fraud. When you do the switch no, man, he, he was just the a little he, guy. He was a, yeah, he was on um, on that show getting Doug with high, and, and after do you have any road stories, Eddie F. and Doug Benson after him. He goes, yeah, one time Carlo and see it, and I. We were having oh, no, sex. It's, it's getting good now. Yeah, we were having the sex. Second you mentioned <laughs> Carlos, you're like, oh shit. Give him, bro. Tell you. Fuck! <laughs> right. Tell us the fuck! So, so, so what happened? What happened? Tell us. This little fucker wanted some pussy and I made him a man. That's all that happened. <laughs> so the yeah, girl thought so. the girl thought she was gonna she was doing it with uh, Mencia. She blew the bus driver, by the way, according oh, yeah. to the story. So uh, another guy That's stepped just stuff in. That's yeah. to make her look bad. Yeah, yeah, she's a <laughs> slut, right, Polly? They came to the store all the time. Oh, <laughs> so tell them, unbelievable, bro. right? Tell the story. Yeah, it's wild. It's a wild story. How many fucking tell the story, bro? Tell the story. What happened? So yeah, so yeah. So, yeah. So, he was so, yeah. so I guess yeah, Brad. Martin's so, better. so I guess Brad it's Williams uh, hopped in. Uh, and took his place, and then the girl didn't know so until like 15 minutes later. There, so yeah, so that's what happened. So then, <laughs> well, tell the story, bro. Too slow over there, bro. <laughs> what the fuck's no, that that good How about there? we just play the fucking video? I, let's play the video. Yeah. Let's play the video. I did that last week with yeah. Carrot Top. <laughs> no, I, 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 you can't say that now. Had, he was having sex with the girl, and I cruised right in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this, You're the man, dude. Hey, this clip's gonna go viral now. Holly's <laughs> like, is that wrong? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was Mencia's opener for four years, and uh, so you go run. Do you guys still get along? Are you friendly? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're friends. So you can say something weird that happened with him that he wouldn't be offended. Absolutely. Okay, go. Uh, Whoa! The, Fire him. When he, we were on a tour bus together, and uh, he got this. This girl was like on the bus and just really wanted to sleep with Carlos, and was in the back of the, got on the bus. Look, she uh, blew our driver to get on the bus. And then we'll who are you kiss? <laughs> Apparently, uh, she was in the back. Wait, sexy driver. <laughs> I tore with the wrong people. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's getting blown. <laughs> so she was. Uh, so she's in the back. The dog best hit that big weed, bro. He's married. He's not gonna do That's anything. hilarious. So he turned off all the he lights. It's not really weird. And then, <laughs> so no, yeah. and so that's not what you smoked. Up with the girl. Okay, I get the fucking good, story. You don't have to play them. Yeah, man. <laughs> but then, so anyway, Eddie if is saying that it's uh it's a uh, rape. Technically rape. Technically rape and then it went viral. But it this went is a viral, clip. but then he was attacked by everybody like you rapist. You, you yeah, but here's the show. here's the question. Did when the girl found out she was fucking the little dude? She, she never found out. Did she keep? Oh, she never found uh, he out. He said 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Into 15 minutes that's a long time. Yeah, did she that's care? I mean, was she into She'll it? Be over by then. I was she know. into it? A dick's a dick. She was drunk. Right? She was very drunk. Is what we heard. Yeah. She was very drunk, supposedly. Yeah, but did she care when she found out it was a little dude yeah. as well? Yeah. She did care. Yeah. She got mad. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. She wanted her merch back. Did you call it? Did Carlos? Did Carlos know that that he was be? Well, yeah, he. Right? The story was that he pushed him in there. Yeah. To, he, what? Hand, he, he pushed oh, Brad Carlos in the there was to he handle was, business. He was wearing him like, um, <laughs> like, like Doctor Evil and Mini Me. Right. Oh, that, wow. is, that is the in fake a backpack. Story. <laughs> like, like, like in a, he was uh, Brad William was in a, yeah. wearing him like. Call him was wearing Brad with like a fanny pack and went strap over on. there. Because you usually <laughs> always hear like stories about Carlos kind of shitting on his openers and like dissing people like. That was pretty generous. <laughs> if you think about it, hell yeah! Because I right? wouldn't do that with my openers. No, you wouldn't do that. You don't share. share. No, you don't share tour bus pussy. No, no, hell because no. the girls don't want to have sex with the openers. Exactly. So what if you fooled they her into it? Hook up with the uh, fools, yeah. dude. The fools, dude. Chinese. Chinese food. Chinese soup. Chinese, Chinese soup. soup. 
Chinese soup. <laughs> bro, <laughs> following Paul Let's go get some, dog. Get some, bro. Yeah, I haven't done that. Chinese yeah. soup. So now he so, came on so and said, what, Rodrigo? So these guys, he opens for yeah. you, right? Ro Rodrigo does. Right, Rodrigo yeah, let's, uh, does. Let's read the... So the, you guys open for... Both you guys open for him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so well, he's not going to be doing anything like that because he's married, so are you guys going to maybe do it to each other? I'm married, too. Oh, you're married, too. Uh, what about the little dude, dude? dude? <laughs> what about the baby? <laughs> the baby. <laughs> the baby doesn't want to have... Man. <laughs> The baby got the girl, bro. I got bro. girl, bro. That's cool. So you're, you're, you're all good. <laughs> cool. Yeah, well, you know what? It's but just it never serious. happened, though. Brad William later on say, today said that never happened. He well, now he's saying he made it he up. Made yesterday at 9 11 p.m., the post He made that out. story up because he was a young comic four years ago. Mm, okay. So did the, well, maybe he didn't. I don't know. It never happened. I don't know I, I'm, I'm sure it never happened. Ask Carlos, do it. He'll tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Call him, Rodrigo. I don't have his number. Call his opener. Call his merch guy. Uh, the, merch guy. the merch guy said no. Merch guy. It's never happened. <laughs> it's never happened. But that's happened before where, where the girls sure. ha the girls give the, the, the bus driver oral sex to get on the bus. Yeah, Molly like Crew concert. Yeah, that was always comedy. the Van Halen story. Like yeah. I was on a tour order. bus in 96, and the bus driver was like, if you ain't fucking the band, if you ain't sucking the band, get the fuck off the bus. Right. So where'd you go? Three chicks left, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo stay. <laughs> that was a virgin then. Soldier. <laughs> wow, that's I don't nut clack, bro. I ain't got that kind of confidence to be fucking around other dudes. So you're going to be at Kansas City. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be so aggressive. <laughs> don't be so yeah, pushy. Bro. Why are you being pushy to me? I'm just a baby. Like a, like a Chinese soldier in the corner. I'm Chinese. I'm not Chinese. So People say I'm Chinese all the time. No, I'm just kidding. You're, like, you're like a little guy that said Indiana Jones, bro. <laughs> Thank you for Dr. doing Jones, the film, huh? by the way. That yeah. was cool. Tight. You know what I mean? That was cool. And uh, yeah, I'll be in KC this weekend at the Improv. And uh, yeah, KC will be, it'll be good. It's a good room. You know? So what you been up to, man? I don't know, How dude. No. How'd you get started in comedy, man? I, bro, bro. The natural. Uh, the yeah. natural. Right yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I you just baptized did. the ballet room. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I don't know. I've been there since I've been four. You know, at the store since I've been four. It's weird. It changes so much. I went on last night, and everyone in the audience is so PC. It's hilarious. Hilarious, right? It's hilarious. Because you have a funny-ass joke, man. We, yeah. we always play. We, he, he always tells me when I'm stoned, and I fucking always laugh. The one about... Um, the one that I raised her, bro. That joke. If I'm, I'm gonna give me a little. I'm gonna adopt a little chick from Sweden, and then when she turns 18, I'm a fucker, bro. <laughs> Cruising, bro. I don't know. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Fuck that. Shit's no, comedy, but, dog. Yeah, but the, it's it's hilarious. You know, like everyone in the audience in the OR last night seemed like they came there on on birds. Oh, oh, it's cool though. It's cool. It's just it's more challenging. You know. It's more challenging because at the store it's like you know people don't go there to see the comedians they go there to see all the comedians the experience yes. they, yeah the experience yeah. so it's like for me you know i have a, a certain audience that that, uh, that that i work to on the road and i know i can be real comfortable just like they come to see you it's like you can do anything and they just flow with you but at the store you have to kind of and it's always been that way it's not just recently it's always been that way you kind of kind of have to kind of maneuver through the feeling of the crowd you know, because a lot of jokes... they all have different do. tastes, and well, they're just, there for different they're reasons. They're not there yeah. for you. Yeah. They're there for and just to see, and some people don't even fucking know you. Yeah. And you're like, got to fucking maneuver. You know, because you go out on fucking stage, and hey, bro, son-in-law, boom, they got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> or they, you do jokes, you know, for your audience, and, they, and they, they're into it. It's a lot easier. It's funner, you know? I know you're going in, you're going in the middle, but like, who is this fucker? A what? They're going, who is this guy? What are they talking this about guy? this? Yeah, yeah. They, sometimes they don't, you know, see, but you have no. to know that before yeah. going into it, you know? And I always like, um, you know, w with my mom and stuff at the store and always kind of, you know, watching the different comedians, it's always important that I think, <clears throat> you know, the audience, it's just like a movie, you know what I mean? You know, you go to watch a movie, a lot of people don't know what the fuck's going on, so it's like a comic goes on stage, you have to really kind of understand like that they don't know who the fuck you are and really kind of like that's why Roseanne Barr when she hit with those six minutes at the top one on the Carson show she was so good because you really understood who she was and I think that's important I think it's important for comedians to leave the stage obviously to get laughs but more importantly who the fuck is that person and that's yeah. the challenging part because anyone can go up and tell jokes 
but you want the executives to write a sitcom like Seinfeld or Roseanne or you know even Dice when he was doing movies or me when I was doing my movies you understood who that person was and I think that's lost a lot you know in in stand-ups you know it's like who are you from where are you from it's kind of simple stuff but uh yeah, I so. think because people have their like stuff Jim, all over the place and their social random. media. You gotta have they, a point of view, buddy. I think yeah. they feel like they yeah. know them or they can go find mm-hmm. out. Jamie but you're right, them. people don't let don't you know, know who they are voice. anymore. Mm. Who, Jamie? Yeah. Point of view, buddy. Body. Yeah, buddy, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so uh, yeah, it's um, you know, it's always you know, I've been doing it probably what over thirty years now. So th- I'm like the older guy now, which is fucking weird because I've always been the younger guy. You know what I mean? I'm 51. Yeah. So it's I'm like the old Chinese guy. Yeah, the old Chinese guy. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you're on stage and I'm still trying to figure it out. You know, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm really bad at jokes. I'm good at setups. Jokes, tags are hard. Yeah. So sometimes I have to bring in tag writers towards the end. It's like, yo, I've taken this shit as far as I've taken it and tweak it. You know what I mean? It's like if you watch all the talk shows at night, you see these guys like, yeah. uh, you know, Jimmy Fallon and, and all these guys have tag writers. These are all joke writers, oh, yeah. you know, and, and you need that, you know, sometimes you can't just go like this. I can, you can trick them for so long, but then you need joke, 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 joke. And that's hard. Jokes so you are still hard. write jokes? Of course, every day. You still I go can. over your sets? Always. Me yeah, too, I'm man. Obsessed. I'm obsessed, I'm too. Obsessed. It's as fun. soon as I fucking get up the stage, like I will tell my wife, I tell her, I can't wait to go <laughs> home, right smoke She's a right joint, <laughs> smoke a joint right here. and go over my set. Yeah. yeah. And hear it again and hear the crowd reaction and see like... It's so hard. You yeah. never stop figuring it out. You just never stop trying to trying to figure it out, you know? Um, so it's it's good. And I love it. You know, I love it. I still love it. You know, I still love it. You know, I still like really enjoy... I, I, I think stand-up comedy has saved my life. I learned a lot from you, man. Like watching you, like I will go to clubs and then people will complain about what you're do, what your opener's doing. Mm. Then I say, "Fuck that! I'm doing the same shit too." Like one time, the when owner was going, what, "What happened?" He goes, "Oh, he had um, but it was his Sue Trejo. He had his, his opener counting the crowd. Mm. You know, oh, with, it's a, with a clicker. Stuff. Yeah, they don't like yeah, that. Yeah, but then I, I realized at first, like I didn't, I didn't stand, I just listened to him. But then later on, I realized. One time when I was at, um, I went to the club, but I was at Fort Myers, and they started adding tables and chairs to the show, and the yes. show was sold out. Well, you even and then through. I said, then I didn't get a bonus, but they, but you added tables and chairs. Oh, we didn't have no tables and chairs. Oh, you saw Okay, it. now we're all like, well, we need a fucking clicker now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta bring Slick the clicker. Slick ass fools, huh? Yeah, well, you gotta, be, you gotta bring the clicker, you know? But again, if you've been doing it as long as I've been doing it, you're, you've been doing it for a long time, too, you start to create, excuse me, a... Um, a, a trust and a relationship with the owners and the management that you know what if you want to fucking rob me off of 10 tables fucking do it you know what I mean after, after a while but sometimes when you play the smaller towns yeah. like I play a lot of places that no one's ever played which is hilarious because a lot of promoters they find me and they're like Polly Shore because I'm very appeal in the middle of the country in these fucking weird weird fucking you know these weird towns and I always say like has a comic ever played here and they're like, no. I'm like, that's hilarious. Because I'm always the first. You know what I mean? And I say that on stage. I'm like, hey, you know, it's like the Mikey commercial. No one wanted to do it. And they got Polly. He'll do it. But I say, I say this thing in my act. I'm just happy that the, uh, the currency in like Mississippi is the same as it is in West Hollywood. Because think about it. If you go to Europe, you know, you go overseas. Like sometimes like, you know, England is different than France. France is different. You know, imagine if like Texas, the currency was different than California. And then you make money in in Texas and you come and try to buy a smoothie in West Hollywood and oh. it's like the, the money's off. Yeah. Like I'd be poor, dude. <laughs> like if the currency was fucking, you know, if the currency different. was different. Yeah. Yeah. Because I do well and in imagine, the other country. Do the tax is different when you get back. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like... So uh, he does well in the middle of the country. You do well in all the outer parts of the country. I do the outskirts. The borders. <laughs> so you do, uh, do you do like... Uh, but, you, I mean, he's pretty mainstream where, now. Uh, yeah. I go to yeah. Wise Guys. Yeah, wise he does guys. Salt Lake City oh, and surprisingly that was, a big city. We did, we did that video of... Um, of um, Polly Shore, because like, you're gonna be there a month after me. Uh-huh. Don't forget to cook, bring this guy some Chinese soup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do well in I Salt Lake. I love that yeah. room. Yeah. That's great. Keith is great up there. Keith Dubs. And he's a yeah. comic, so he knows how yeah. it should be laid out for people. But I, I think when you do it, as long as we've been doing it, people are pretty cool. You know, it's like repeat business, and you know, so yeah. 
Why do you keep looking over there? Oh, they're, there's they're, a chat. They're, they're commenting. Oh, they're commenting. What are they Nobody saying behind my fucking here, back? The chat's there if you want to go. <laughs> People talking behind our backs right there. But they all like you. They're all happy you're here. They're Love asking the questions. Pol- the fool called you Mexican. He made you Mexican. He called you Paulo Short. Paulo. <laughs> Paulo yeah. Short. Paulo. Paulo. You know, one of my guardians, one of my guardians growing up, I had several guardians because my mom was always at the club. My, my parents were divorced, so different comedians. Paul Rodriguez said he watched you. Paul Rodriguez watched me for sure. And Paul, bro. Yeah. Dang, he's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paul. Paul is. Um, Paul's great. Uh, uh, also, there was obviously Fr- uh, Freddie Prince. Freddie oh, Prince was cool, there, man. you know, back then. But he he didn't babysit me. But he was Freddie Asparagus. Freddie Asparagus. Very. I was very close with Freddie Asparagus. He was a sweetheart. Yeah, and then also Soto as well. Freddie Soto. Soto, yeah, he was, he was, that was a shame what happened to him. He was such a good guy and he was so fucking funny. Really nice guy. He used to drive my mom's limo. You know, he would drive my mom around. But um, I'm sad that you never got to meet my mom. Uh, I did show kids for her. Oh, you did? Yeah, in 98. Oh, nine so you weeks didn't in meet a row. <laughs> yeah. And when Freddie Soto passed away, I went to go say hello to her in the car because she didn't get out. Yeah. Yeah, so how long you been doing it for? Since so like 1996, 94, 96. Okay, 95. yeah, so you've been doing it. Oh, yeah, so she was around. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was there when uh, we, we had a we had a Christmas party, and I don't know if it was the first one, but it was me, you, him, and some other people, like 10 of us, and nobody knew, nobody wanted to come, and me and you went outside. You, you told me, hey, buddy, go get some people to come and eat. <laughs> and, I went, and I went to go get some comments that were hanging outside to come and eat. Oh, and this scary. year... They ran out of food because people showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> that was good of your mom always doing that, man. Like, yeah. she would just put out food for people. Well, she always, you know, the thing is with my mom, she wasn't like uh, a lot of club owners where she wants to manage them. She was just like, hey, here's the stage. Take it and take off. You know what I mean? It's like develop your stuff here and, and move on. You know, the strike was kind of weird, though, when, when my, the comedian striked against my mom because... 79? Yeah, it was like, yeah, 79 or something like that. But it was weird because what happened was is the comedy store started doing really well financially and the comedians wanted to get paid. And my mom didn't want to pay the comedians because in my mom's eyes, it was an artist colony. And she knew that they would develop and then eventually they would go make millions of dollars. So yeah. it was like a weird, you know, <clears throat> thing. And then they settled you know, eventually, and they started getting paid something. But, uh, yeah, that was, the, you know, different comedians started to You were little when that happened? Did you know yeah, about I was, it? Yeah, yeah, no, I was, like, I would, because uh, it was a heavy time. You know, the guy jumped off the roof. Yeah, Steve wrote Lebic, the book. Yeah, Steve right. Lebicken jumped off the roof. He had a, a suicide note that said, uh, my name is Steve Lebicken. I used to be a comedian at the comedy store. Fuck. Fucking heavy, dude. Yeah, and this one, there was coke and fucking all that. You know, now it's like, it's so, like, yeah. it's corporate. so corporate. At the, yeah, the, corporate. at the end of that book, comedy now. At the end of that yeah. book, uh, which uh, book was it? Uh, um, dying up here. I'm dying up here. Richard yeah. Lewis said that um, this began my my 25 years of hardcore drinking. Mm. Damn. Mm. Yeah. So, um, but it was it wasn't just comedy. It was just the 70s itself. It, it was, was just bad, yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Hollywood was changing uh, well, too. Yeah. What year? Like, like, what, 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 <laughs> what year were you born? 68. Oh, okay. So we're the same age. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So you remember. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of crack. Eighty five. Yeah, I was in the break. I was in a break dancing big time. Me too, big bro. Time, bro, I just fucking. Sc- Give me your hands. <laughs> Give me your hands. Not so Steve. hard. Your dress is slow, dude. Slow. Relax. You got the Mexican Relax, bro. string. Oh. Here we go. Here, wait. I'll do it again. Here, Ted, to your yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. do it right. Do it right. Here we go. Here we go. Here, just start it. Start the wave down there. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. You went too fast. Yeah, go slow, good. slow. Feel it. <laughs> And then you got to hit your head and then go back and then go throw it back. <laughs> Martin's trying to get into it. Beat Street, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here comes to what? <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, here goes I used to love that shit, man. Back in the days. Somebody the Lecture Boogaloo was my movie, man. In the yeah. Army Now, one of the yeah. funniest movies, somebody says up there. Bobby. Hell no. Bobby. Hell no. Oh, son in, it's all about son, son in law. law. Encino man. Son in Encino law. man. That oh, movie. Yeah. Uh, I was a kid. I was trying to dig my backyard looking for cavemen. Man, <laughs> it was such a fun time. Movie making was such a fun time back then. Not that it's not fun now, um, but back another then, one of sequels. Be, yeah, be, yeah. Be, back then it was just like before social. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you you know in order to see anything, in order to see anything, you just you basically go to TV or you go to the movie and that's it. 
You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. when you did a movie, people went to see it. And nothing else. They wouldn't get distracted with all these <laughs> yeah. apps and this and their Instagram and da da da. You know? Like back then, if you didn't see the movie, you couldn't say, well, "I'm a witch." It comes out here. No, yeah. it never came out. Yeah. And, and, um, and fucking... there's no reviews like now, like like Rotten Tomatoes. You're like. You see the oh, like, there were critics. There were yeah. critics, oh, but you didn't find them in the newspaper. But, but with the, both the, crit, both the, the ratings come out like before or around the same yeah. time? The same. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, people actually read People knew about Star Everyone Wars before Star Wars came out. Really? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, all those. Were you a Star Wars freak? <laughs> mm, the, the early ones. The early I like ones. the early ones. Did, did, you, did you have the toys? No, I didn't have the, the toys. The Darth Vader case with other little ones? Maybe I probably had an R2-D2 or something. When you were a kid, so, okay, so... With your mom and your dad's probably on the road all the time. And yeah, like they were divorced. They're divorced. Yeah, when I was three right? years old, they took off. Yeah. And then, so did you have like? So he just asked if you had those toys. Did you have any toys? Did you have like a childhood a where you were, <laughs> where you we actually like were bomb. playing yeah. and Teacher being a kid? action figures. <laughs> But did you have any no, other I kids? Had, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had, like I had like, like a. Uh, what I was can't it? imagine Mitzi like I dropping had, you off at a play group or daycare or a. No, or a I had school. dropped them off at Sam Kennedy's house. <laughs> I, I had, know. We had Twister. We had um, Monopoly. <laughs> Naked we had, Twister. We had a. Uh, uh, what was it? Um, a oh, big trampoline. My mom put a big trampoline right in the backyard, which was awesome. Nice. A little acrobat, huh? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I used to jump from the house to the parking lot of the park comedy store. <laughs> Yeah, it was cool. Uh, what else did we have? We had. Uh, you lived in the house, the house up there. No, that's the, not where you grew up, right? No, the where house where all the comics went, would stay and all that. No, stuff? that no. was uh, that was more of a the Crest Hill house was more that of was a like house a... that she bought, and then I took it over once I hid in the MTV. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And then I, I took the the lease over from her, and I lived there. But that was the house that uh. You know, she had, and it was kind of a halfway house for, for, for comics, and Dice would live there, and mm -hmm. Tamayo Tsuki, and uh, Yakov Shmirnov, and Carl LeBeau was there, and, uh, you know, it was that type of, you yeah. know, thing. I mean, my mom was so cool, like, she, she was like, you know, when she got the comedy store when she was 40, like, she just was like, you know, she's always like an artist, you know, mm -hmm. so she always like... She would just do shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> she'd like make money and she goes, I'm gonna do all these fucking shows. And then she'd just make all these shows. And she was just like, cool, you know? How, yeah. how long did it take for your mom to um, get the club of Art LeBeau? Cause I read, that, I read in the book that Art LeBeau used to own the building. Yeah, um, well originally, Art yeah, the yeah, well so the, the comedy store is three rooms. Three so rooms. it's like the OR, the main, the belly. So originally um, Frank Senes, who owned the property, came to my, approached my father right for the father for the comedy store <clears throat> and said sammy would you like to open a room on sunset and he said yes and then they came up with the name the comedy store originally was just the original room and that yeah. was a guy named frank senis and then the main room was next door and that's oh, really? when I'm, yeah that so was created connection exactly knocked the wow. wall down oh, okay. they knocked the wall down in oh. between the two the venues and then from there what happened was is she took over the main room from Art LeBeau, and that was when she opened it up. And then yeah. that's when she started thinking, paying people. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there's a bigger room yeah. and bigger names and, and that type of stuff. So, um, yeah, and then that was the belly room as well, yeah, so. Do you know the first lineup ever in there? Well, it was probably like fucking uh, Red Fox or some shit, and then like uh, uh, he was a little bit later. But the early years, like Natural Gas, uh, yeah. Did you ever hear of Natural Gas? I've heard of Natural Gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was that was like Vic Dunlop and Dave Tyree and some other guy, and then um, I think Denny John Denny Johnson was there. Gallagher okay, was John. there. Jimmy Walker was there. Jimmy Walker was fucking huge. Yeah, yeah. huge. Dynamite. Like big. Like that sitcom. I mean, to this day, it's still really yeah, funny. Yeah. Reruns um, and all that shit. Yeah. Excuse me. Reruns of that show. So yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was kind of like the first. The first lineups, yeah. Your, your mom it didn't let you perform the comedy store to you. It got funny, huh? <laughs> no, until I got famous. Actually. Yeah, I got famous. Cause, yeah. No, like she made it. Till I, st I started. Drawing. She didn't just give you the no. the guest spot like everybody thinks they do. That no. you had to earn it. No, I. But you had to go to the other clubs and do rooms, right? Yeah, I did. I did that purposely, though. I did yeah. that by choice. Cabaret. And, yeah, and it still feels that way. You know, it still feels yeah. like I'm Mitzi's son at the comedy store, and it'll never go away. 
You know, it's just like a weird fucking thing. I'm actually more uncomfortable at the comedy store than I am like at the Funny Bone in <laughs> Cincinnati. That's funny. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's just, you don't a, get it, cause, well, because no, the, my mom's yeah, there. Yeah. Just because she's physically not there, yeah. she's still there. Oh, yeah. I mean, you there. can feel it. <laughs> it's fucking fuck scary, around. right? Yeah, it's yeah. a scary. What are you doing? Don't fuck with that. <laughs> You're fucking it up. You ruined it. Leave oh, it alone. It's fine. <laughs> they fucked up the bathrooms. What they do with the bathrooms? The new bathrooms right now? Yeah, they're retarded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they used to be black with the ladies. <laughs> yeah, I with the fucking, you know what I mean? I remember. The lady yeah. with, the red, with the red lipstick. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I worked the Laugh Factory. I went to New York. That's where I met Chris Rock. I saw Sandler out there. And then, um, and I finally showcased for it. Didn't go well. <laughs> when I showcased for it two years after I started doing stand-up, uh, oh. she was next to Louis Anderson and Paul Mooney. Whoa. They were there. And, um, and I, I ended I ended with pop locking, and then I went yeah. to my mom. I said, "How was it?" She said, "Stick with the dancing." She said, <laughs> 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 um, but uh, yeah, so you know. But that's good though, is. because you went out and struck out on your own. Well, then yeah, you went out and did your own thing, and then yeah. you had a ton yeah. of movies that came out. Yeah. Like, so until I became you're known, all over MTV. Yeah, known on MTV yeah. and all that shit. Then she finally was like, "All right," I'm like, "Mom, people are here for me." Well, whatever. You know, I still wasn't ready. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's why it's funny when, like, I mean, not to diss Adam Egan or anything, because he's doing the best yeah. that he can. He does a great job. But, you know, when people, comics say, he's oh, I got passed. Of, uh, I got passed. I got passed. I got passed. I'm like, mm, whatever. You didn't right. get passed. You got so passed. It doesn't mean the same. You, know, yeah. you got passed because you do great videos. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, yeah, I've seen some people's Shore. names on that wall. Yeah. That yeah. Like, yeah, you didn't came go. in recently. It's all good, though. Because I know that Harry Mandel, he did like 40 weeks in a row, right? Oh, yeah, A whole year of showcasing. Damn. Pretty much makes it made him stay home all week. You could have year. You could have to come back every Sunday. Yeah, well. but the one yeah. thing she did with Howie is that, um, is that you know she encouraged him not to go back to Canada because I think he sold carpets. Yeah, I think that's what it was. <laughs> and he on the row. The what? Oh, end of the road. End no, of the road. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. What's end of the road? It's a it's a carpet company in Canada. That they they booked me one time to do a show. Oh shit. End of the road. They said yeah. that. End of the road. No. I'm pretty sure he worked for End of the Road if he worked for Canada. Oh wow. It's a huge Canadian carpet company. Yeah, but the um. What's up, Danica? <laughs> Say hi to Danica. What's up, foo? <laughs> Some else, you know, you've seen ghosts at the comedy store. No. People always say that shit, huh? That bullshit yeah. is not haunted? I don't see it. I, I mean, saw maybe John the other... Spoon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, boo, boo, boo. I don't know. Maybe uh, there was a doorman a long time ago named Harris Pete who had been there. Remember Harris Pete? No. Kind of. He was there for Chewy. years. Yeah, he was there before. He was there before Chewy. And he said he saw ghosts. And Blake, Blake Clark who's a comic at the store. He said he saw ghosts. I never saw ghosts. <laughs> mm. I never saw ghosts, but it feels weird when nobody's in there, you know? Like when we took your son and daughter there, Felipe? Yeah. And we walked in the main room just and it was just dark and you were showing them around and then we went off to the office, but it was what weird. What are you doing in the office, bro? Get a little hums? <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, I think, no, I think he was getting a, uh, he was getting a hey, check or dude. something. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were getting a check and you got some t-shirts for the kids or something like that. Yeah. She told me, see ya. <laughs> Why are people so harsh to him? Uh, they're not, I don't know. Well, the whole debacle. It I think it's a whole pile of they're, they're, yeah. they're not harsh at Carlo Messier anymore because no, we are not harsh. It just that he just, his name came up during the, the story again. Well, that just brought it up again. Yeah. yeah. But I think, that, you know, go ahead. No, that whole thing that happened like at yeah. the store like 14 years ago? A long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. A long time ago now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Before podcasts. I auditioned for your movie, podcast, um, Polly is Dead. By you auditioned for it? I yeah. didn't know we had auditions. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. It was a fake audition, eh? <laughs> Where did you do the <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the, the, they got you. It was the comedy store. Oh, yeah, at the comedy, right? Yeah. I think Merlin Martinez got me the gig. The oh, audition. yeah. Fuck, she passed away, huh? Yeah, man. Fuck, she was so funny. She was dirty and funny. She was great. My mom loved her. She was great. When I auditioned for your mom the first time, there was a lot of people around her talking to her, so mm. she couldn't really pay attention because it was No, Peter. I hear everything. It, it you was, know what you're fucking talking about. It was Peter Chan and... Um, Peter Chan is hilarious. Some chick named Goulden. Oh, was yeah. Was yapping next yeah. to her. So the second week, I had uh, Cheryl Shepard and Marilyn Martinez stand next to your mom to com comedian block. So oh, nobody wow. would talk comedian to her. Block. And it was tight. <laughs> and then she passed you, right? Yeah. yeah. 
You know who I you know who I got hooked up with my mom at the store was Robin Harris. Remember Robin yeah. Harris, Bay Bay's kids? He's funny. So funny. Here's dude. A, Robin Harris, bro. Well, your fist so balled up in case the motherfucker starts something. <laughs> That's that one of his jokes. Where's the flu? He was, uh, but he was on Fat Tuesdays at the next door. Yeah. And I saw him. I'm like, oh my god, this guy's so funny. I brought him next door, and I said, Mom, this guy's got to go on. <clears throat> and he went on, and then he became a regular. And then he, I guess he died was like a year later or something. But and he died at 37. Crazy. Damn. After that movie, he huh? was so funny. Dude. He was funny hilarious. As fuck. Fuck. That one he album was... he has, the hilarious dude. Baby, Baby kids, kids. Baby kids. Has that one half hour HBO special? Yeah. And Baby's Kids became the cartoon, right? Yeah. The mm -hmm. thing right after. Yeah. Animated. He did House Party. That's why that movie. Yeah, House Party. House Party. Um, and Do the Right Thing. Yeah. Mm. Do the Right Thing. Slick What's Willie. up, Party Shore? What's up, who? Chinese suit. So, so yeah, so we used to be on Snap together when my mom, yeah. was, my mom was around and because I took care of my mom for He was, was going like up every morning to get her soup. From, yeah. her, from her cook. Yeah, Alfred, who was the Filipino caregiver for my mom, he took oh, care he of my mom. Oh, he was her caregiver. I yeah. didn't know that was. Weird. Yeah, okay. he was my mom's caregiver. She was caregiver. good too. I was like, boy, Fuck, Polly's yeah. really bugging this guy early in his house, early in the morning. <laughs> it was funny, right? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> the poor guy. I thought you were like tormenting that guy at <laughs> I first. Know. I didn't know. Right. I thought it was funny. Then I thought everybody, then everybody started watching it. <laughs> Then I was started saying Chinese soup all the time. <laughs> yeah, because, you know. But it was he, good, though. Fuck, he fucking, he, he just killed it. Yeah, he, he could make great <laughs> soup. Your mom to love that soup. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good for my bones. <laughs> <laughs> then you were cruising in that, in that badass car, your, your convertible. Oh, yeah, the green car. Yeah, the green car. I have a uh, 69 Roadrunner. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got that in 94. And I got that. It was like a present to myself after I did in the Army now. Yeah. And it was uh, it's the Pomona car show out there and there's all these cars and I went there and I just gave him $14,000 cash. That's yeah. what I want to do is show it's up at a car ass. show and just get the, yeah. get the dude. car I want in cash. Yeah, Please. just go. boom. One, boom, yeah. buddy. Next like that, year. That's this it. summer, let's do it. That's I got great. another car I want. You're wrong. Yeah. Get one of those old cars. <laughs> that shit happens. <laughs> no engine when you get home. <laughs> Drive that home. So you've never been married? No kids? Mm. Little buddies out there? Right? <laughs> <laughs> no little buddy. <laughs> Hang on, do them see It's really hard for me. It's really hard for me. Do you always touring? That's kind of an excuse. People do you want to be married and kids? I mean, you don't, not everybody here's, wants to. Here's the issue for me, like right now, is like, you know, I am um, being 50, 51 years old. It's like, yeah, if man. we're going to do it, we got we to gotta make this shit happen soon. So... I'm trying to figure out a situation that works for for me and a female. You know, so more of it's it's more I don't want to say a business move cuz that sounds fucking disgusting. But they have but to be a partner I Exactly. Think. Where it's like, yo, like here's my semen, here's like rent. <laughs> you know, ah, child support. Here's my rent. You know, here's everything. Like I'm going to still do my thing, but our relationship me and the girl, we don't know where the fuck that's going to go. Yeah. Because how long have you guys been together for? 13 years. Yeah, so it developed into this thing. It's a natural thing, you know? And you guys met, what, four, you were 40? You were 39. She was 34. Yeah, so you I was were. 34, yeah. Yeah, so you guys, but you guys all were young and you developed. Yeah. That's normal. That's the normal way. You develop, you start dating, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So I never did that. So now, because I'm older, I can't think like that because <coughs> I don't know. Because women, women for you have just always been fit in whenever you've got a free moment. Yeah, Not and it's like also hard for me to trust women. Yeah. Every girl I've ever dated cheats on me. Bitch. You know what I mean? I mean? Wow. But you know, I, I cheat on them too, though. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Equal. Before or after. Yeah. Orgy. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know. I was at Corpus, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I was, I, was with, I was with Brad Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get him li little baby humps, bro. <laughs> My humps? They look no, like baby funny. Yo, I was, I was dating this girl, and if she hears it, she'll deny it, which is fine. I'm like, that's lying bullshit, dude. That didn't happen, dude. You're stupid. Let me tell my side of the story, dude. No, she said she's adorable. I dated this girl for a while. And, you know, I would go on the road and, like, you know, there's girls out there that are kind of voluptuous. And, like, part of the show is to, you know, to... Hook up. Yeah, they, they, you know what I mean? 
they're like excited. You know what I mean? Like but the there's marshmallow, no, huh? There's, <laughs> there's, that should be a show, huh? On TV, Polly Shore Marys. Dude, there's also women. There's also there's also women out there that say their husband said I can have sex with them. Yeah, when I was just. What? I've heard that before. Yeah. There, the, there the, are guys who sometimes push their wives on onto him. you during the meet and greet, right? Yes. Like, like they leave slap they her in the back. ass yeah. or whatever. Like, yeah. Yeah. Go have fun. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, good. good. I don't need to have sex with you so your husband can jerk off in the corner. <laughs> you know, or whatever. Nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so I was with this one girl, and, um, and she, I found out she was cheating on me. But she was like living with the dude. Oh, oh my shit. God. Oh, shit. So really, she she was cheating on him with me. Yeah. <laughs> which is wow. hilarious. Which is hilarious. Oh, shit. So for a long time. I wouldn't say living with him, but staying with him. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and I get it. Whatever, dude. Like, But that's my that's my fault. You know what I mean? That's my fault. So I don't blame her. I blame me. You know she was I mean? young. She's young. Yeah. She's, uh, well, she's 30 now. So she's, uh, she was like. I started dating her in her early 20s. So she that was can. a while ago, though. But uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> so you just want to get somebody to have your baby and then you're just like... Friends. And then see what happens to yeah. our relationship because I don't know. You, no one knows where that goes, yeah. right? I don't so as know. long as you understand that you guys can co-parent yes. normally, then the relationship will maybe take care of itself or not. Oh, that's or not, you. or not, or yes, you know, so... <laughs> Put it now. So I think like that's, a big maybe. But that's a reality. I don't yeah. have a fucking choice. You know, unless I meet someone and I, you know, when we have a kid at fucking 60, that's too crusty, no. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Super crusty, bro. <laughs> I mean, Jamie Masada did it. Yeah. He sure did. Yeah. Twice. So did Joe Diaz. Joe Diaz? Joe Diaz. Yeah, yeah, well, that's not cool. <laughs> Theo, Theo Vaughn's dad had him at 70. What? Yeah. He did? No. Wow. He's alive? I think Matt no, Walker's, I think Matt Walker's yeah. dad his was like real in his dad. late 60s. Theo Vaughn's dad had him at 70, yeah. Wow. His dad was from like Nicaragua or something like that, yeah. Jesus. My grandma had a baby at 55. What? Wow. Yeah. Last of the Mohican, what the fuck? Wow. The baby looked like her. See, that was like always her. giving me hope that she had one at 55. Dude, like, at the doctor was trying to tell me that's medically impossible. I'm on, dude, I have another aunt on my dad's side that had a baby at 55. Wow. But I think for me, like, you know, since my parents passed and, and you know, I've had a lot of sadness. My mother friend died. My sister died. Like, all this shit happened. Like, it's been this kind of black cloud in my life. You know what I mean? There's been a sadness. And I, I will get through it. You know, I got to keep moving forward. My parents don't want me to be sad. They want me to, you know, hey, you know. So I think that having a child would bring this kind of joy in my life. Because when I do see kids, I really enjoy kids. It's not like I'm like, get that little fucker out of here. <laughs> like, I love kids. Like, yeah. when I'm at the airports, so I'm yeah. always doing shtick with kids. I think kids. you would be, a you would cool, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. be, be real good, fun. Man, yeah. Patient, fun, yeah. like, whatever. And I think whatever it, you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> and I Polly think, Babysitting Club. <laughs> little Me weasels. Buddies. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> think you're leaving with Joe Diaz. I'll be back. <laughs> you have Joey's nephews? Good. I have, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I have a, um, a niece and a nephew, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so, but. People are stalking. They know you live in Silver Lake. This guy's yeah. Like, How long has pa Polly been living at Silver Lake? Oh, all the way You're stalking him. Seven years. <laughs> I like it out there. I like Silver Lake too, man. Fucking cool, man. So you moved in when it was expensive. Seven years yeah. ago? Hell yeah. yeah. I, I lived I there 15 I years rent, ago. I rent. I rent. Oh, really? So it's like I rent on a, uh, uh, like in the fourplex, yeah. Nice. So, so it's cool. I like it. It's there's something very relaxing about that area, like Echo Park and Los yeah. Feliz and Silver Lake, and you know you can dress like this. You you don't have like West Hollywood, Beverly Hills. It's a whole. Don't you feel that the feeling that you get when you go to yeah? Those... The the dogs get bow ties over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's it's pretty cool out there. Yeah. What what high school did you go to? I went to Beverly Hills High School. Oh shit. Yeah. Beverly Hills, not you or nobody. Yeah, yeah Beverly. Beverly. But we didn't live in Beverly Hills. We lived outside <laughs> of Beverly Hills. So we had like a someone take us to school, and then, oh, oh, that's okay. a whole other thing, yeah. So That's cool, man. You, you do good in Florida, huh? Florida? I like Florida. I yeah. remember I saw you at the, at, the, at the radio station. Oh, yeah. You were promoting that rock show. The rock show. Oh, yeah. was I doing a rock show down there? What was that show? Oh, like the '90s show. No, the show they no? have. The, the, the show they have on HBO with the Rock. What they call it, Pooh? Oh, oh, Ballers. 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 Oh, were you on Ballers? 
Like, oh, you, wait. You, your, your buddy was oh, doing no. uh, catering or something. Oh, yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. No, my friend Joey produced it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was on you the You were radio. talking about the movie before the fucking movie even came out. Which the what? The show even came out. Yeah, you were talking about All it. Ballers. Yes, yeah, it was just like, What are you talking about, Baller? <laughs> yeah, it was, just co- it was just coming out. So, um, yeah, I like, I like the guys down there, Paul. Right? Paul yeah. and Young Ron. Paul and Young Ron, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice guys. Yeah. Do you like the road? Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. We're very fortunate. Yeah. You know? How do you feel when you, like, come home after the road? I feel good. You know what I mean? Hey, I just... I I, I, I made all these people laugh. I gave my soul to these people. <laughs> I got money. You know what I mean? I land. Me and my girl. You know what I mean? Let's have a nice meal. Yeah, it feels you good. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. Do you get massages? Hell yeah. I got, one, I got one the other day. I, I, got a, I got a pedicure the other day for the first time. That's sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Today I, think, I got something. Today I got, got a facial. A, today I got a facial for the first time. That's the, great. They sucked up the fucking yeah. um, blackheads and whiteheads. Blackheads yeah. out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm doing? I'm doing a peel. I'll hook you a up. Chemical peel? No, I'll hook you up with the, the place. I'm doing a peel the where peel. they get rid of all my, my uh, uh, freckles and like this. The sunspot. Like yeah, they got rid of my um, sun cool. damage. They yeah, got sun damage. Yes, yeah. Yeah. that's what the lady said today. He goes, yeah, Felipe, you wear sunblock? I never wear sunblock. Yeah, yeah. she goes, gets yeah, mad you, at me. You, you got you yeah, this. You can get a peel. It, you still look the same. It's not gonna look weird. But they just, it's like, it's like a scrub on your face. It's like a five day peel. I'm gonna do it like next month. Oh, but shit. then you like have like stuff hanging off your skin, yeah, right? For a few for days. Yeah, five days. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you gotta, gotta be like at home, at home, not going anywhere. Skin after, because like gold members. You know, I think. Oh, good when I came out of there today, man. Yeah, good. Do you, you ever go younger, to the bro. spa or the sauna? Um, I have a sauna, have a sauna at home. Sauna at home. Because I go to the one. yeah, I go to a Korean spa all the time. Which one? Uh, there's one on uh, Art. Or, yeah, it's like Olympic. Yeah, a like, big uh, one. No, it's a small one. But I go with. I mean, I see Bobby Lee there a lot. So we go there, and um, it's cool. There's uh, I think it's important. You know, the the spa, the it sauna. Is. Yeah. You go in there. And you, you take the shower, and from there you go to uh, the, 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 the hot pool, and then you go into mm. the sauna and the steam, and then you go into the cold plunge, and you sit there and you watch fucking, uh, you watch basketball with these Asian dudes in the fucking thing, and, it, and I'm looking at them, this is hilarious. <laughs> I gotta do that, man. It's the, the best. Plunge. The cold plunge. The cold plunge and the hot bath. Yeah. And, then the, and it's the good pool. for this. It's good for this. Yeah, when I came out of that place today, my forehead felt tight. Yeah. <laughs> So, I think, yeah, I massages know. are important, especially when you're on tour and you're sitting on planes. I got my first pedicure, man. I never had a pedicure in my life. Mm-hmm. They, they put, like, sugar on my feet. A little sugar? Asian girl. The sugar scrub. The water had, like, roses and um, and lemon. I thought you were making a michelada <laughs> in my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Wake so, up, somebody's sucking on your toe. Where have, you, where, have you been all over the world? Um, Yeah. Like Prague, all that shit? I went to uh, Saudi Arabia. To do shows? Yeah. This last. Well, they say buddy with their swords. Hey, buzzy. <laughs> hey, buzzy, buzzy. You know, it was funny because I, I my act is pretty dirty. Here? Yeah. You know, I'm pretty dirty. And, and I, yeah, I really. Yeah, did you have restrictions? Of course. Which, you didn't stick to them? Well, no, when I went. Because no the promoter. Jokes, bro. <laughs> this is no, crusty. I was fucking scared. I got to My act is dirty. I'm, I'm Jewish, too. Yeah, I'd be a little <laughs> worried. Yeah. No, there's a comedy club there called Al Comedy Club. And when I went there, have you heard of it? No. It's called Al Comedy Club. I'm like, who the fuck is Al? Aladdin, no, I'm like, Al. Big they Al. said no. They said no. The Comedy yeah. Club. The means Al. Oh. oh. So I went there and I told them the man, uh, the owner, uh, his name was Yasser. Yasser. He goes, what are you going to do? I'm like, well, I talk about sex. Da, da, da. And you're like, you can't talk about any <laughs> of that down. shit. I go, I guess we're doing a Q&A. <laughs> and I did a Q&A. Oh, really? Yeah. And they, they were fine awesome. with that? Yeah. yeah they were <laughs> awesome. Wow. I know. <laughs> Get the show pay. must go on, Coxon. Yeah, you made it work. Paid. That's crazy. Well, it would have turned around. Experience. I, I think Godfrey, this... Godfrey, went on, Godfrey went on before me. He did really well. Godfrey's a strong comic, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's fucking he's strong. strong. He's mostly clean, too. Yeah, like, and he's he clean. He can work in yeah. that shit. I can't yeah. work in that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's too much. You, uh, I think, I mean, who was it <laughs> that told us? Drink, you can't drink. Yeah. You can't smoke. None of that shit over What'd there. What'd you do? Nothing. <laughs> it's not worth it. You twiddled his thumb. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I it's heard not that worth you can't it. even do jokes about like holding hands or dating what? because they well, don't no, date. They're just starting it's to like, take off their shit. The women are just starting to like take off their burkas and stuff. Showing them ankles. I would have said, don't you hear when you go on a date and her mom shows up too? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes. 
And then overseas, where else did I go? I go to I went India. On, I went to uh, Africa, Australia. It's been a while, but yeah. How about Amsterdam, Rotterdam? Mm -mm. I went there. When you started blowing up, um, so what was the first thing that got you out of the gate? Like that got you noticed and on t MTV? Because I remember I was in college when he was on MTV, like all the time yeah so what was the first thing was it like a spring break you were hosting or what no, was one of the things break, that blew you up? I remember that one because i kind of remember it was all With about Bill that Ballamy. and then all these movies just started coming out so mm -hmm. like what was the first thing out of the gate that really got you noticed what was the mtv show yeah. Yeah. Okay. that was the big one okay. was you in a van commercial too no that's probably beck <laughs> no <laughs> no it was mtv mtv was so big back then yeah yeah you know, it's like where all the eyeballs were it was on in our kid in our quad like it was yeah. on in the little main room for yeah. everybody where everybody was yeah it was such a great gig it was like i was on for five years it was every day from three to four <laughs> yeah it was wow. awesome. my kids come off for school it was yeah. fucking they're taking awesome. a break it's still last year we are 30 years later it's still fucking as strong i'm going through airports people are like ah <laughs> Fucking works, works for me. Yeah, yeah, dude. It was a psyche, you know. It's America's psyche. There's nothing like yeah. that anymore. Well, yeah. Polly Shore took a photo with somebody at a show last week, and the person was wearing a Polly Shore shirt that he don't even sell. Oh, really? It was a bootleg one, but a good one. Mm -hmm. I wanted that shirt, man. Oh, with the yeah, it was yes. sick, right? It was yeah. a badass shirt. Yeah, That's no, it was cool. So, you, a lot of your merch was sold, but you probably didn't get a dime of it, huh? <laughs> when, you were, when you were younger, like your MTV merch, you do a lot of t-shirts with your name on it. There, there is that way now too. I mean, I'm sure if you Google, you know, your name right oh, there's now. there's some other ones people make. Yeah, yeah they make it. You know, that's just the, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to hire a lawyer to stop this. It's like, fuck. Yeah. It's like, whatever, right? Is it worth fighting? That's it's always not, your it's question. Like, yeah. fuck yeah. it, you know? Whatever, so people want to, free you know. Publicity. It's, yeah, it's it free publicity. Yeah, it is, technically, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. You might have lost 20 bucks on that shirt or whatever. Okay. You were Howard Stern a couple of times. Mm. Your, your interviews are always the funniest. Mm, thank you. Because you keep it real, Doc. <laughs> oh, you just relax during yourself. You keep it real, man. You yeah. ain't fucking around. Just keep it like, real right now. He's not trying to have an image Because some people try to say something about him. He goes, hey, goes, nah, buddy. I've never been on Chelsea. They don't want me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh yeah, remember she that shit? That was fucked, dude. that was cool, man. That you brought that shit up, bro. Yeah, it was fucked up. She's I was like, like, "What the fuck?" It's like, "What are you?" And I did I try to fuck you or something? <laughs> I was like, "What?" I'm like, "I'm perfect for your show." You know what I mean? It's like she's just weird. People are weird. The, what, the what did business, she say? She didn't have him on. She wouldn't have me on she every time I had a movie coming out or a special or You're something. That I, like, and like my I hire my Rogers and Cowan publicists. You know, paying what five thousand a month yeah. or whatever, and and you know, get me on this show. I'm flying to New York. Boom, I'm doing all my press. She's always like spatch. You so know, she spatch. started the comedy store. I think I don't. Yeah, know. she came through, and then she plucked a lot of, of comics. Uh, yeah, comics from the store. Or, yeah. You know, like at an opener level, really, honestly. I think I don't know. I think maybe because I would call her out or something. I don't know. People you know don't what like I mean? that. Because then when she fucking the owner of E or some shit, she was word yeah. on the yeah. street. Yeah, well, she there says, you yeah, go. She I wasn't was fucking the owner of God. MTV. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't fucking the president of MTV. No, president. Viacom. No, Viacom. But Howard always called her on that, too. That he she, did, right? That she was fucking the guy And there's nothing e. wrong and with she, that. She said one... Well, put, Polly, she, put, put Polly on. Right, well, she at one point did say, well, you know, I was drunk all the time. I didn't realize, like, mm. how uh, annoying he was or how I really didn't have feelings for this guy anyway. But she got a lot out of it. Hey, <laughs> worked for her. She got a show for a while. Yeah. When, when you were in the, when, when um yeah <laughs> when you when um when Carlo Mencia and Joe Rogan went at it, mm. um and you um who called you and told you or how did you find out? Well, because the video. Yeah, I think the video went. It was more like it was more like I was kind of like for me it was like Bully. I yeah I was just kind of like. I definitely obviously think it's terrible that comic steal material. Yeah. I wasn't, th I don't know what the fuck happened, but I just thought it was kind of gnarly that they put it on the internet. Yeah, it was you know what I mean? first. Yeah, it was like, I thought it was kind of gnarly that, but Joe, you know, Joe is very, he felt very strongly to out him, yeah. you know, which is cool, you know what I mean? Because maybe that stopped other comics in the future, like, yeah. hey, I'm not gonna steal people's shit because someone, because at the, at the end of the day, like, our shit's not copyrighted. No. No. Well, if you record it, it is, but not for doing, yeah. But not, not, not anymore. If you record it, they can if make it's a, recorded, it's, like a, make it's a copyrighted. Meme out of it. But it has to be, yeah, it's, there are ways to get around it, yeah, but like you couldn't, yeah, you could have, happen. yeah, you'd have to 
take somebody to court with it, but you can copyright like an audio recording. I'll yeah. record it. The date's that's, there. Yeah. yeah. But. But what are you going to do? That's oh, the thing. So the enforcing they, is when it comes moral, into question. Yeah. Can you really yeah, enforce it? Yeah, it's a moral it? thing. Yeah, and the whole thing is like, all right, cool people like don't steal no more, say this is unfeak, but there's a lot of rewriters of the same fucking shit. Same premise and shit like that. Come on, man. Yeah, I was going to start Kill looking at his stuff shit. and tweak it as we stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw no, a little but, um, up, <laughs> No, I think it's a feeling. I think it's a feeling that you have as a comic on stage. If you're doing other people's shit, then that's a shitty feeling. So I'll why would you want to create that feeling for yourself? You know, because comedy is an it's an authentic thing, and it's like there's no there's no filters there. You know, it's you and the audience, and if you're up there doing other people's shit, yeah. that's pretty s fucked up. Success you know what I mean? and relevancy, all types of shit. But yeah, but so. your mom did she ban all of them? What did she do? She ended up she banned Joe for a while. I think you guys so. take after that, aside in the beginning, right? No, yeah. they both were banned. I think no? they both were banned, right? Yeah, I think they, I think they, I think they like, were. I'm not a, I don't really remember. I just remember that I think she so. was mad. Because he came back and started yeah. doing shows in like the main room. Well, at the time, Mencio was bigger than Rogan. At the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was why Rogan called him out. Has that happened <laughs> yeah. that before that? Comedian fighting? Before you When you were growing up? Shit. When you were coming up, you'd see comedians yeah. go at it? Yeah. But, but was it more because of stealing or going over your time? Or it was mostly James over Coke. pussy, pussy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was. Uh, no, I think. I think. Uh, I heard of a fight between David Allen Greer and. That was over pussy and Paul Mooney. Over who? Lori, Lori Petty. Petty. Mm. Did you hear about that fight? No. Who talked about that? that was made up now. No, no, no. no. <laughs> these days, huh? you don't even know it's real. Lori Petty. Somebody else actually told David Allen Greer and Polly Shore were fighting. No. no Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Mooney, bro. Why are we fighting, bro? I don't understand why these motherfuckers want to fight. <laughs> Go ahead and take them down with a one-two Louisiana punch. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, I wrote for Pryor and I wrote for you. Now get the fuck on. That Paul was funny. <laughs> Paul was very funny. He used to sit on the stage and just sit on the stool and talk shit. No, but but I know uh, that <clears throat> Sam Kennison and Andrew Dice Clay went at it. Yes, I know I that. Oh, yeah, shit. I know that that oh, happened. The Sam Kennison but that stage. was, but that was, that was because I think Dice blew up all quick and huge. Kinda, and then also like Sam. What about Sam? Yeah, Sam. I don't. I didn't think that Sam really liked wasn't wasn't a fan. Of Dice's shtick. Oh yeah, you, you know it was comedy or yeah. But I know Sam also went after Bobcat Goldthwait. Yeah, went after him hard because you know <laughs> he had that thing. Remember? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I don't know how that <laughs> fucking. I don't know how that. <laughs> I don't know how that coincides with Sam's. Oh oh oh, because it's different. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Day, bro. Oh my it's god, man. Like comparing apples to oranges. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Let's go get but, some hums, uh, right? You know it's Where's Wheel Parisi? I'm I'm, I'm kind of like I'm kind of like uh I'm kind of like maybe surprised that there's not more kind of, you know, this with comics because there are with rappers. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you I'm surprised. More I'm surprised that more more people don't call a comedian when they bomb like when I was coming up. <laughs> Like if you bomb, oh, everybody you leave, gets support you leave now. The room. Yeah. Yeah. They everybody pumps like everybody now, up. Your grandma's someone bombs now, Polly. They walk up to him like his mom died in a car accident. <laughs> You're strong. <laughs> You're so Before, brave. Like if, You're like gonna if survive Polly, this. Like if would have bombed, and I was gonna say hello to him, like we never met. I probably wouldn't say hello to him, bro. After he bombed. <laughs> nice yeah. try. But I know dog. what he's feeling and know what what it feels like to bomb. Yeah. But there's people that that bomb and there's dudes dancing on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah, after they're trying to get pussy still. Yeah, you got motherfuckers well, fighting the good over part about, The great part about stand up is if you have a shitty set, it's fine. Because guess what? The next night you're going to go up and not have a shitty set. Yeah. But if you're and a young comic, you don't know that, man. You think of the end of the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. what the heart is you bombed? And when was uh, it? Who was there? Oh man! And did you get pussy? Yeah. Right. Last right. year, <laughs> probably the only dude that can bomb and get pussy. Um, that's a superpower right there. There was a time I remember when uh, uh, I first started, and Argus got me a spot at uh, was it the Alley Cat Bistro in? Uh, no, not the Alley. It was the um, uh, L.A. Cabaret, which was a comedy club in the Valley. Yes. Remember that? Yeah. It's a great room, right? It's fucking like yeah. you go in there's like 300, 400 seats. It's like really? Yeah, it was dope Fuck. back in the day, right? Some Balboa Ventura. Yeah, and Argus got me. Uh, the owner was named Ray, 
And I just, this was, the, this was the pocket between when I first started and before I showcased for my mom. It was in that two year kind of pocket. And I was working at the Laugh Factory, I was working all around town. And Argus got me a gig there. And it was a Saturday night and I just fucking bombed. It was so bad. And, he, and Ray called Argus and fucking yelled at him. But Fuck Argus, Argus got, got me on that stage because of cocaine. Because there was like a drug fucking exchange. Oh my God. That's how he got me on stage. He's like, yo, I'll give you coke if you put Polly on. Damn. Something like that type shit. Like a soldier though. <laughs> hey, fuck it, whatever works. Hey. Gotta watch hey. out for my little and buddy. I, I know I had a weird set. It well, was the, like the probably coke about- The coke must have been bad for him that the owner complained then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I killed the room. And then, <laughs> and then. Uh, Did and anybody then, yell anything? What? Did anybody yell and say, get off, coke ain't good. I was just sweat. I was <laughs> sweating and every joke didn't work and I was nervous and Horrible. you know what I mean? And then I also, I had a bad set, what was that, that Gotham? It was probably about seven years ago. It was fucking weird. You know what I mean? I wasn't, it was kind of like being at the store, like they weren't there to see me, right? And I just kind of went up and it was like just, Every joke just started kicking me down. You start know? you know I mean? like, You going, think oh you're gonna get, yeah, yeah. No. you're gonna get in? You're like, oh, that didn't work. Boom. Yeah, you're like, oh, that didn't work. Oh, boom. Let the cat off sliding up the roof. And, <laughs> and then boom. Oh, boom. And then finally, I'm like, I'm like, just sweating at the brow. I'm like, all right, good night. And, and the gay guy's like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> It was terrible. Uh-huh. It was oh, terrible. My God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You guys said that. What the fuck was that? This fool's a fool. But, uh, but the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, it's just, that, that's the way it is. Like, you and I have an audience. You yeah. Know, they, they, they come to see us. And I never bomb in front of my audience. I have sets no. that are okay, but I fucking pretty much kill. I fucking go up there. And I'm, you know, I'm getting paid yeah. to fucking just bring it, bring it. And I fucking go up there and I have fun and I enjoy it. And that's, I don't want to say it's easier, but I don't really get nervous because you know, before I go in front of yeah. my audience, they're, they're it's watching, your audience. Man. Yeah. yeah. They it's like they're, they're, they're there. Anything yeah. is cool. It's all yeah. good. And there's love. And it's like all like heartfelt. Then you go to the store, you go to Gotham, you go to these kind of the cellar. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've only been on the cellar once. They did it all right. But it's just, it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? Because. Right? I Do know, you like, feel that way? I feel that way. But you're, I, you're Spanish, so it's different for you because you're so accepted now. Yeah. Right? Like, yes. Like when I go to do the show with my apps <laughs> and they're all urban, yeah. I go like, I got to earn that audience. Yeah. Because they're, they're not here to see me. Yeah. yeah. And you then, know what I'd like to do is open for Chappelle. That would be sick. Have you opened for him? Never. We should open for him. We should. That'd be <laughs> sick, dude. Take us. That'd be a badass Dave, show, if you're yeah. out there, put me and Felipe on your fucking show, bro. Yes. Get rid of Get rid of those two people. They've been going over you for two years. Yeah. <laughs> so when you so have you had any um, have you had any real friendships among comics or do you feel like being who you are, you know, Mitzi's son and all that stuff, and you know, not really sure what your power is at the store mm. and all that? Do you feel like you don't get uh, like true friendships with comics either, or do you have no, some have that some clo- you've had really long? Close, uh-huh. Yeah, really close. Friend. I mean, the comics are my brothers. Right. Jesus you know, Trejo. Yeah, I mean they're all my brothers, you know what I mean? So I very very feel very comfortable with all of them. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. At least that's how I feel, so, you know. How many pairs of Reeboks did you have when you were like on MTV? <laughs> Joy. <High top. laughs> I had, you know what? How many pairs of Daisy Duke shows? When I came out of high, when I graduated from <laughs> high school, how many bell bottoms did you have? When I graduated from high school, <laughs> bell bottoms. I had his outfit on. No I was way. wearing a pink tank top. That's how And I had those shorts that were from oh, they were um, the ripped up little. Can shorts. I get some of the OP Ocean <laughs> Pacific? Say, yeah, natural and, progression. And they were um, checkered board like the ones that John Ronnie Dangerfield wears. And I had um, high top Reeboks, mm. the blue ones, the one that came out back in the day, the white ones. Uh-huh. And I had a fucking head that was lime green. <laughs> that was the wheeze. <laughs> no, I just needed a fucking scarf, the fucking um, the fucking scarves on my pants. They're yeah. unbelievable. These scarves, whatever they're called. The scarves. I took those from my mom. Looking like a hip, like a, like a street genie. <laughs> a street genie. Like Steven Tyler shit right there. Huh? <laughs> a street it's a genie. It's the holdover from the '80s, though. All that stuff came into the '90s. What was it like so, in in Ohio back then? Zap, Madonna. No, when in the '90s when you were popular, when, yeah, like, yeah. like at the height of the all mm-hmm. that stuff. Oh, the rehab when when he came made popular. Well, when I went, I was in college, but I was having culture shock because I went to a black schools and then my college was mostly white hmm. so everybody there it was vanilla ice i think ice ice baby had come out mm-hmm. around that time mm-hmm. and man i don't know 
It was it was boring in the 90s. Billy Ray 90s. Cyrus, right? Mikey breaking Yeah, I guess that, that was because I worked at a golf course and they there were people doing Funky that. Funky Comadina. Mikey breaking too. heart stuff, yeah. And, 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 the tail yeah. end of Two Life Crew. My life, my Metallica too. Yeah, my world was and pretty much like what Theo Vaughn's world was back mm. in the day. That was same Slim black gyms. and white. Bunch of, hitter, gyms. bunch of hitters. Yeah, big ops. Poor black, poor white. That was me. That was me. Ugly sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. up, fool? What's we up, have shows fool? coming up tomorrow, What's up, man. Fool? We're gonna be in Dallas. There was a guy that came to the show last week and said it. He, he um he heard. Hey, he told Johnny. Hey, Johnny, I heard you on on Rizzo's podcast. Oh, that's the guy that used to pay my HBO go, man. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Are you have shows coming up? Yeah, we got a uh, La Cura January twenty second in East LA at the Paramount. I gotta ask you a quick question. What's up with that bullet hole that um, Sam Kinison left on the in the back of the parking lot of the comedy store? Mm. They took it down. What happened to it? Why did they take it down? Corporate motherfuckers. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, you, right. You, I don't you, know. I didn't even know they took it down. They took yeah. down a bullet hole. What yeah, do you mean? it's gone. It was a, the they sign it? right there where you walk to the back, the entrance. They had that. They said the comedy store, and there was a bullet hole that uh, Sam Kinison left, mm. and then now it's gone. I didn't know that. I yeah. thought it was still there. I knew so, it, someone up there dying to dying for me to ask you, Alex Castaneda. Ask him about when he was on a Joe Diaz podcast. Everybody mm. wants to know about the edibles and all that. Did you do edibles? Did you eat them? I do edibles now. But you never did drugs, right? Like you no, never did like I, big I, cocaine. A little bit once in a while, you know. A little like Argus Hamilton. I don't like cocaine. I just like the way it, it smells. smells. <laughs> the best. <Yeah. laughs> but uh, no, I. Uh, w what happened was with Joe. He asked me to be on the podcast, and I went in, and he gave me these gummies, <coughs> and I'd never really done gummies, and I didn't know what what level they you were. Got at. Stars, of, stars of death or yeah. chupa chews? I don't know what it was. It was like just an. It was some of it. That's so the stars. I took it. I took it, and then halfway through our podcast, I couldn't speak. Oh. So then I had to leave. I had to leave. Oh. I left. Did I said, dude, home? I got to get out. Yeah, he fucking let me drive. <laughs> Shit. What? Yeah. On, get out of here. Get up the hill. The thing about edibles, you don't know which part has the most weed, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but what <laughs> you gotta happened was- used to riding uh, those motherfuckers. When I, was driving home, <laughs> when I was driving home from his podcast, I was literally like on Shaking. the fucking oh my yeah. God, dude, I'm about to fall you know what I mean? Chair. But now I take them once in a while and I have the perfect amount, so I'm good. I like edibles. They're great. I don't, I don't like the how it hits my face. Oh, uh, bong ribs. <laughs> the what? Bong ribs. I think they're mixed pretty Marley. well. Molly. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of it does anything for you. What's your thing? What's your vice? Sex, Chicks, bro. How Chicks? come you don't have your, your your own talk show on like a Comedy Central or Cartoon Network? You're asking him questions like people ask you questions. Yeah, How come exactly. they're not in more movies? How come yeah, you're exactly. not this? Yeah, yeah. I'm a fan. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> a fan wants to know these things. Do you have any? Are there any bad rumors I died, about bro. you, or any rumors that people have spread have spread about you over the years that are Cruising, wrong? Cruising, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you died. Bro. I don't know. What? I don't know. I don't know. No. Um, not that you know. Of. Did you steal your brother's idea for the judge movie, Jury Duty? Jury Duty. Somebody asked that. They no, still my idea? What I idea? Could, one time you said it on stage, you were buzzed, and I saw you perform, right. and you said you, you and your brother, you, you and your brother were fighting over jury duty. Oh no, that's I don't. I, don't, I was probably just an ad lib. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that Richard Pryor shirt, Doc? Uh, the dude. Drozen. Yeah, you know him, right? The yeah. The guy that makes the pins. No. The guy that the guy that makes the pins. oh rocking pins yeah that guy. really I didn't know there's that. a pin on you I haven't seen it yeah yeah, yeah, it. So yeah you have it too dog. yeah yeah he's got pins no yeah, so he he Coco so he it's made yeah he's a he's a cool kid I went and did kill Tony uh, Monday and he came backstage he was really nice oh, and nice. he said hey you can have this and he started the new Richard Pryor uh, uh, the new Richard Pryor uh, uh, Instagram with oh, Jennifer shit. Pryor oh he started it for her yeah he started it for her okay good and that guy's not he's a he's a nice kid yeah yeah he's a nice kid so uh that actually that special is coming out i think ten, tomorrow night or something in the richard Pryor 2020 oh, yeah? oh, it's on know. 2020 they interviewed a whole bunch of people and they uh yeah because you know yeah. somebody said there's rumors of your death did you have rumors that you died no there's a movie or that you almost sold the comedy store mm. no. no no but wow. yeah, it was the movie. Polly sure is dead. I like that uh, the video with David Grohl and you about your dad. That was sweet. Which one? There goes my hero. Oh, when you're announcing oh, yeah. David Grohl. That was Grohl. tight, bro. That was <sighs> brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Like, yeah. Like, like that, that was right such there, a man. crazy night. You, you and I have a good relationship. Yeah. Like, like, 
like people people who don't have a good relationship with their dad like myself who look at you and go wow that's um <laughs> That's something to strive for. Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> well, my dad, my dad and I. You went on tour with him. Yeah, and your dad, I remember your dad in an interview. I thought he was so sweet. He said, I was the real weasel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the original weasel. He was. Yeah. Yeah, he started it off. There wasn't my dad. There would have been no comedy store. Yeah. He's the one that started Crazy. it. Crazy. He's the one that started it. Him and his old buddies getting yeah. fucked up all week. <laughs> yeah. Ray, uh, 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 Rudy DeLuca. They started Rudy DeLuca. it. Yeah, they started it. And then. They did the divorce and stuff. They didn't, like he were work in Vegas, right? Opening for Sinatra and all those dudes, or who? Yeah, my Pop? dad. My dad opened for uh, you know Tony Bennett a lot, Engelbert Humperdinck, uh, you know Don Rickles, and then you know Elvis Presley. Yeah, for for I'm many saying. years. Uh, yeah, my dad was you know he started doing stand up in the 1950s. Sammy yeah, Shore. Crazy, yeah, dude. so he was you know he was on Love Boat. He was on Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son. Sanford yeah. and Son and. And he did a movie with uh, Jerry Lewis called The Bell Boy. He did, was my dad boy. was like, you know, buy that shit. Yeah, he comic, did a, man. Yeah, yeah, he started it. He did Ed Sullivan. He was very good. You know. Where did he meet your mom? Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Wow. Yeah. Your mom was at a show? Um, what happened was, is my dad was performing at the camp in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, like doing his shtick. And then she worked for the boss for the at the camp so she started watching my dad's act and she would type up jokes for him oh she's shit. already working huh yeah Damn. she gave him like pointers. a soldier she gave him, she gave him pointers oh, no shit. just pointers pointer, like direction yeah. do this don't do that and then wow, they had, they had she sex knew up. they had sex he took off and then she called him she and said, said i'm pregnant and I have an old, <laughs> and my oldest brother scott is going to be 70 in like, like three four years oh, yeah Damn. So you were a late baby. Yeah. You were the baby. Yeah, I was the baby. Right. Yeah, baby. yeah. He's a baby, bro. Wow, that's crazy. Heavy story. stuff. Yeah. Damn. Don't you sing a mariachi band in here right now? Rice and beans. Rice and beans. You should get a mariachi band back here. It'd be hilarious. We should, but they're not in the room. <laughs> have them come in once. You want to read it? Yeah. Dates coming up, people. At least we're going to read them. Uh, this weekend, uh, Dallas, Texas area. At Addison, Impro Addison Improv. Addison Improv with, um, hey, what's that guy's name? Keith Manning. Hey, hey uh, play cousin. No, Addison Improv. The old Mama Keith. Oh, Mama Keith. Okay. Hey, you was talking about Hey there, peaches. Next week, 22nd, Addison Tijuana, Improv. Mexico. Tijuana, Mexico. Tijuana. Antigua, Bodega Sick. de Papel. All shows, uh, Spanish, um, all Spanish shows, what I that's mean. That's fucking, that's the real Todo deal. Todo en Espanol. Yeah. And I then, wish I um, spoke Israeli. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Santa Cruz, January 25th, almost sold out at the Catalyst, one night only. Pasadena, the 26th, Ice House, stage two, but that's all Spanish show. We have two shows. We added a second show. Can oh, you stay for a second show yeah, that night? Because sure. the first one sold out. So uh, two Spanish shows that night, and that is the last practice before you film your specials for Damn. Netflix on the 27th and 28th in Santa Ana. There are two, I think the English shows are all sold out for that. The 27th, what time are those shows? Seven and Seven what? and ten. 6 p.m. doors, 9 right. p.m. doors. I'll try and to get in a midnight. Am I allowed to throw my stuff yeah, on? Yeah, go ahead, buddy. Okay, KC Improv this weekend. And then after that, I'm going to Miami for the Super Bowl. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm the Super Bowl halftime <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm getting shot out of a cannon. Oh! <laughs> no. And then, uh, and I don't know, just go to polyshore.com or follow me on my Instagram, which is at polyshore. And uh, you'll see my tour base. Also, my podcast, which I know you're going to yes. do coming up called Random Rants. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it today with Tony Hinchcliffe. He's coming over to the house. And then. Um, yeah, people said they loved Random Rants. Yeah, it's so, fun. I, yeah. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's a it's a fun. It's different. Are you it's doing a one man show now, too? Yeah, is I'm that what your act is now? Or you're doing two separate I things? Two like separate, you're, okay. Yeah, I do the stand up and I also do a one man what's show. What's the one man show all? What's, man, what's the story behind that's all that? My, yeah, the story's in my childhood. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, so what can we watch that? I'm putting it together right okay. now, so eventually, hopefully, Netflix or something like that would be. Did cool. you tour oh, yeah. with it already? Or? Yeah, yeah. Should. Okay. yeah, I've been working it for a while. So okay. me and my that, managers uh, are talking about uh, putting it at Just for Laughs. Oh, nice. Um, that's, hopefully that's a good this, place for it. Yeah, hopefully this uh, July. Or so. Melbourne. I think that's in March, though. It might be too late to oh, okay. get into that one. So yeah, but, I'm yeah. working it, and I also have a big piece in the New York Times coming out mm -hmm. on Sunday, Arts and Leisure section. They did a big nice. spread, which is going to be Fuck pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Is so. coming still going to open up in other parts of the country, or just stay where they're at right now? Have no idea. 
Are you involved in the operations or anything? You're a silent owner portion, all that stuff? Oh, well, I'm one of the owners. No control. Can you give him a drink of wind? Yeah. Can you get a sneak of wind? He has to work to get his time. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like a weird thing right now. So I'm dealing with that, okay. that shit right now. Do you but like how we'll corporate it, it is? Yeah. No, I don't like how corporate <laughs> it is. I miss when they used to like let homeless people in. And yeah. G the guy well, it's like funny Jesus because I was doing there. I was doing Kill Tony and there's these, the, you know, the comics, they come yeah. on stage, they're pretty much homeless guys. Yeah. And I told the one guy, I'm like, dude, you should sleep backstage. Because I used to let comics sleep backstage. Yeah. Don Barris, you know? Yeah. He fucking used to sleep backstage. The Todd. Well, that, oh, that, yeah. like, a lot of the Fuck, construction dude. of the comedy store was done by <laughs> comics, right? Like Charles Fleischer, yeah. didn't he do a lot of the construction inside Illegal there, construction. too? <laughs> yeah. Illegal yeah. construction. Yeah, Smirnoff did a lot of the electrical work. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah right? Smirnoff was my mom's carpenter, yeah. Wow. I used to take yeah, we dates like at one in the morning or in the backpack, and then because it was so lonely, you know? But yeah. now you can't do that anymore. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me too. I would do a show like at the Mother it's Club, too full. and then after that show, eight at ten, Set in the I, back. I, I would bring like whoever wanted to come and get fucked up at Dub, at, at Dub, not Dub Dublin's, Mitzi, the, the the sushi bar, Miyagi's. Oh yeah. Oh, Miyagi's. I was like, let's go over here and get some sushi because it's cheap right now. <laughs> And then we'll catch this crazy show with Don Burke called the Ding Dong Show. Yeah, that was yeah, one of the first, a, first things yes. you tried to take me to. <laughs> it felt so it private, too. It felt so it private. Cool. Yeah. So we're like, we're the only like, Mexicans here, yeah. and everybody watching this crazy show. And it's a freak show, actually. And then that guy ends up being the warm up guy for Kimmel, right? That's yeah. That's what he does yeah. now. Crazy. And one of the guys was caught by America Most Wanted for being a child molester. Oh, shit. For the Ding Dong Show. Oh, really? the comics. Uh huh. What's up, foo? Oh, foo. Wait, Chinese ended. babies. Chinese babies. Did you see Polly Short, bro, Las Vegas Comedy Central special with, um, what's her name? No. It's fucking good, bro. The what? He's clean cut, suit. Who? That ah. Las Vegas special you did with Liza Schleiss. Oh, that was great. I would love that show. Oh, yeah. You had a suit on? That was Yeah, bro. Uh, Trim uh, hair and shit. His first show, I think he ever did with, that was in Buddy. <laughs> it wasn't uh, buddy. It was, it was partner. Yeah. No, it was like it was Clean Polly. Cut. Not even like it was like um Executive he was wearing Polly. a suit, but he didn't do like um it was more personal. The jokes were not about um being goofy like his regular mm. act. Uh -huh. It was straight up stand up and mm. he, he talked more about um your family. Mm. So yeah, I mean, that was cool. That was with Eliza, Steve Steve Ren You do more of those? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm doing, you know, I got the podcast I'm doing. I'm doing the one man show. And I have the, uh, a movie just came out uh, at Lionsgate called uh, Big Trip, which is an animation. And I have Guest House coming out this year. Everybody says that uh, goofy movie they loved you. Oh, in. yes. Yeah. Everybody. They got with the Leaning cheese. Tower of Cheese Up, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was my childhood. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're that generation yeah, that, that generation. saw that. I didn't see a goofy it, movie. <laughs> Somebody said, "Polly, do the peanut call." <laughs> I don't think I did it good, but <laughs> what's up, fool? Lisa, you got shows coming up? I got no shows. All right. I'm gonna work at home this weekend. January 22nd Yeah man podcast And also check out Our new Spanish podcast Six episodes Those podcasters Del Norte With my homeboy right here yeah. Martin pa Party, where, where, where do your podcast air When do they come out uh, Every week On you know YouTube and Spotify And all that stuff So you know Cool man Thank you for being here man yeah. Congratulations you, man Thank you Congratulations on your stuff I know you. you've been Working it hard So Hell yeah Thank yeah. you I'm glad that <laughs> She's your wife And yes. manager Yes, yeah. yes. That's Keep good. it in the family. At 10%. Keep it in the family. <laughs> yeah.